Okay, so hey guys, today we're going to be checking out the Naturalist add-on. I made a previous video where I tried to install it, but it did not work. Okay, so this time it's active. This should be active. There should be the resource pack active, because last time I activated it and it just didn't work, which annoyed me. So we're going to go into the jungle, which has the most the biodiversity. And this time I'm going to enable the experiments, because... Yeah, I don't care. Because sometimes some add-ons require experiments, but usually... The marketplace add-ons should not require this, but just in case, I'm just going to turn this off because I don't want to have a repeat of last time. In fact, this time I'm going to spawn in Crave just to make sure that if everything is working. Because last time I was seven minutes into the video and it just, I couldn't even summon it. It was like the, the, the behavior pack showed as if it was active, but then it was like, it just didn't work. But now I reloaded the game, so now it should work. If it doesn't, then I basically wasted eight euros. Oh, okay. Judging from the book down on the ground, this time it works, so we can... We can safely go into survival mode. Okay, so yeah. I'm not gonna lie, but I love the way the book is made here. That is so cool. I think the book ruins the fun. I, I prefer seeing the mobs for myself instead of having to read a book. Okay, this time the add-on is, is on. I'm actually coming. <gasps> oh! Oh, oh, whoa! Oh, that's so... See, like, why can't Mojang add this? Like... Like, how hard would it be to add this into the game? Like, literally. Also, why is it on the tree? It's so easy to add mobs. Like, seriously. Like, wh oh, what is that? Is that an owl? Oh, that's cute. That's, like, why is this so hard to add? Like, how many hours would this take to make? Come on, like, seriously. If they spent hours making... What? Excuse me? How, how did that just die? I didn't... You guys saw that. I didn't touch it. Well... I didn't murder that snail. Oh man. Okay, let's go to the jungle. The jungle should feel a lot more alive because it should have tigers, monkeys. For some reason, there's no gorillas, which is a shame. Okay, so let's go into the jungle and let's start seeing some nice biodiversity. Oh, maybe I stepped on the snail by accident. Okay, that's a panda, but pandas are boring. I think you have to stay for a while inside of, of, of the simulation distance. Mobs, the way they work on Bedrock is they spawn around you based on your simulation distance. Okay, so far I've only seen a panda. Please don't tell me you're taking up the entire mob cap or else I will have to kill you. Because I... I mean, the add-on is definitely working. But... Okay, that's a fucking chicken. Chickens... They should have made it... I guess, I guess add-ons can't do that, but like... Bro, okay. Where... Where are the animals? Where are the two cans? Okay, are you serious? Do I have to just like spend hours around? Or maybe there's just because jungles have so much like blocks that are covering the ground. Maybe mobs don't have enough space to spawn because they're meant to spawn in like on grass. But I'm not seeing them. Oh, it's an ocelot. Nice You're boring. I'm not gonna hurt you, but where where is it, bro? This is actually. I mean, we, it clearly worked. Don't tell me that, that like, they have, like, a very really low chance of spawning. Because I really hate... If they made it so certain mobs have a really low chance of spawning, then that kind of sucks. Because I feel like for the jungle, mobs should continually spawn every second. Like, mobs in the jungle shouldn't be rare. Like, in real life, if you were to go to a jungle, you'd have, like, millions and millions of different species at once. Yeah, there's, like... Nothing. There's just nothing here. It's dead. Are you serious? There's no tigers? There's no monkeys? Brother. Oh, wait, there's a capybara. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, but capybaras don't make sense it's in the jungle. I mean, actually, this is pretty cool. Like, look at the anime. Like, this... Why can't Mojang add this? Like... Are they, is this the only mob that spawned the entire place? Why are the tigers? Bro, I want to see tigers. I mean, I know I could just go and create it, but I want to play this in survival to make it, like, more realistic. I think I think you have to feed Capra's melons. They, oh, they probably despawn because I'm they're outside my simulation distance. Yeah, they're gone. Okay. What? Where are they? Oh my god, where did they go? Yeah, they despawned. God damn it. Did they, did they really despawn? Are you serious? Wow, this... 
You're gonna have to really spend a long time in a certain area if you want mobs to start spawning around you. Cause like so far we've seen what, like, a snail, an owl, a deer, a capybara. Like come on, the jungle is meant to be full of life. Like make it so, I mean maybe they're, they can change it and maybe it's based on... Like, what's my simulation distance? It's four chunks. Oh, 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 that's a scorpion. Oh, see, why can't scorpions be in Minecraft? That is so creepy. I like, this would give Bane of Arthropods more uses. I think this thing poisons you. Oh, that's actually a lot of damage. Okay, wow. Um, um, um. See, like, this actually makes sense. Like, this feels like it would fit so well in Minecraft. Like, I just don't know why Mojang doesn't want to add the scorpion. The scorpion, I mean, yeah. Technically, uh, scorpions are endangered, but, like... They would just bring more life and danger to the jungle, like... Are they really that lazy? I mean, I mean they're not lazy, but, like, it's just annoying. When you see add-ons like this that add, like, a bunch of mobs... Although, they really don't spawn very frequently. Again, this is a jungle biome. It's meant to be full of animals in real life. I guess it really is based on simulation distance. Like, you really... Oh, wait. No, that's nothing. It's like I don't have the add-on installed. Now, I think piranhas spawn inside of rivers in, in the jungle biome. Oh, wait, that's a kiwi! Oh, that's cute. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, the piranhas. This is so cool because these things exist in Sriracraft and they work exactly the same. Like, imagine having piranhas in the jungle in Minecraft. Like, this would make the jungles dangerous. Like, that would be so cool. Okay, I'm gonna go and create a mod. Just to see if I can see more mobs spawning. Like, because they're supposed to be tigers. Like, I'm nervous, like, here. I guess it's like, you have to, like, wait for them to spawn. Okay, okay, let's see how many actual mobs spawn here. Okay, how many mobs? <gasps> Whoa! That's actually a lot of mobs. Okay, what I really want to see is the tiger. That looks actually super cool. Like, look at that. It even has a like, cool, like, sleeping animation and everything. There's also monkeys. Monkeys. Let's go. God, you just... If you want monkeys in Minecraft, you just gotta pay 8 euros. Eight dollars. Oh my god, look at the animations! The animations are so cool! Okay, I mean, I guess that makes sense, because they are neutral. But like, I was not expecting to get attacked, attacked by a monkey in Minecraft. I didn't want to kill him! Attack him again. <gasps> oh, that thing is fast. Oh no, oh no, I'm gonna die! No! Oh no! I, wait, I just realized something. Wait, can tigers climb vines? Because in real life they can, and monkeys can also climb vines. This would be this would make it really unrealistic if they can't. Please tell me that they can they can climb. Like, can they actually climb trees? Wait, what? No, their immersion broken. Wait, are you serious? They can't climb vines. They take fall damage. That does make sense. Wait, what the fuck? They take fall Okay, explain. They take fucking fall damage. In real life, monkeys probably take less fall damage because they, they, they don't- Well, they don't fall from trees, but like... That's annoying. What about slots? Slots shouldn't take fall damage. Yeah, okay! Explain why that doesn't take fall damage, but a fucking monkey somehow takes fall damage. That doesn't make any sense. Hi guys, my immersion has been broken. Like, actually. My immersion has been so broken. Okay, the toucan's actually pretty cool. It's funny, because toucans do exist in Minecraft Dungeons. Oh, that is so cool! Let's just spawn a bunch of them. Let's see how much more likely the jungle would feel. With, like, a bunch of monkeys? Let's spawn a bunch of monkeys. God, like, that is so cool. Tigers? This is honestly pretty glad on. But for the price, I don't... I'm actually curious, if I ever were to attack one monkey, would they all attack me? Okay, they don't attack in packs. What about tigers? No, they don't. Okay, okay, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. Oh, actually... 
See, like, it would be so cool in Minecraft if you could actually get chased by lions. Like, it, it feels like you're living in a jungle, like a realistic jungle. Now, can I escape from it by climbing a lion? Okay, that. That doesn't make any sense. Like, also, what the hell? Okay, that's stuff I'm talking. Why is the tiger not able to climb the tree? In real life, tigers can climb trees. Also, why are there no jaguars? That, that kind of upsets me. Also, it's like trying to sleep, but also trying to kill me at the same time. Like, I feel like tigers should be able to climb. Same with monkeys, like... Also... Fuck off. You're boring, stupid spider. Oh god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Bruh. It does kind of slow down because of pathfinding, which is kind of annoying, but... Actually, how far... Okay, how fast is it? Yeah, because of pathfinding, okay, no, but when it's running in a straight line, yeah, that thing could easily catch up to you, which is kind of cool, like, it looks now. No, no, no. Oh! Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna actually go check out the savannah. Because I want to see the savannah. I just, one thing I would criticize about this add-on is that the mobs aren't spawning frequently. Like, I get that it's based on your simulation distance, but mobs should spawn much more frequently. There should be, like, a billion mobs spawning at once. Also, I hate how there's no savanna seed, and you have to use the mangrove swamp seed. It's it's annoying. But yeah, there. Like, if I were to criticize, I don't. I would. I would make it so monkeys do not take fall damage. Monkeys can climb walls like spiders, and tigers could also climb trees. They do in real life. Well, they don't really climb trees, but like they they can. Okay, so this is savanna. So we have boring fucking cows. So I'm gonna go to this one out here. So this one has okay. One thing that really annoys me is that this item has ostriches, right? Ostriches were planned for the savannah. Also, yeah, look at this. Okay, the thing that bothers me is the elephants having front eyes, but like the texture work is really well made. Like this looks like something that Mojang would design. Like. And it's, it's interesting because these things don't drop anything. They don't drop, drop tusks, right? They don't they don't drop ivory. You cannot make ivory. And also, they do a lot of damage. Which, I feel bad for doing this, but... Like, look at how much damage this thing does. Three hearts! And you take fall damage. Now, one thing I would criticize is it doesn't have an attack animation. Like, it doesn't launch you up into the sky. But, like, this looks amazing. But yeah, you cannot kill elephants for their tusks. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god! Mm. I probably deserve that. But like, it's really, really cool. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's a snake! <laughs> oh no! It's a rattlesnake. Oh, the sound effects. Okay, the snake should be a lot faster. In real life, snakes are very fast. Like, why is this thing so slow? What? Also, rattlesnakes are very poisonous, so... Wait, does it have a tongue? Wait, I thought for a second I could see the tongue, but it doesn't. I like the noise, the, the sound effects are pretty cool. <gasps> oh, a rhino! Oh my god, okay, the rhino does so much damage. Also, look at this boring ass fucking pig compared to the cool ass rhino. This thing does so much damage, like, look at him. Oh, oh, he does like a charge attack and then he rams you. <gasps> Whoa! That's actually pretty cool. Does he continue? Oh my god, this is like a... Uh, it reminds me of that one enemy from Super Mario Bros. Wonder. The the bull carrot, the bull thing. Oh my god, lions. Now, these things are neutral. Oh, this actually looks really cool. It even has like custom footstep noises. Like, the model, the model generally does look like it could be official. Also, look at that. When it turns hostile, it like has... Okay, that's actually pretty deadly. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Guys, I'm getting chased by a lion. I'm dead. That's pretty realistic. In real life, you probably would not be able to outrun a lion. But, um... Yeah, honestly, this makes the savannah a lot more life. Now, the thing that really bothers me is this. This is the thing I don't understand. Right? Why the fuck do giraffes not eat? Acacia leaves. Like, why can I not feed them acacia leaves? In real life, giraffes eat acacia leaves. This is literally the, the perfect tree 
designed for a tall neck. And yet, no, instead you give them an apple. That makes no sense. Like, why an apple? Why not acacia leaves? Also, why am I able to ride a giraffe? That makes no sense. Like, eat the fucking acacia leaves. There are trees right there. That's what your entire purpose is designed for, to reach the tall trees. God, that's the huge criticism I have of this add-on. It's like, uh, giraffes do not eat acacia leaves. Instead, they eat fucking apples? You don't even find apples in the savannah. Like, that doesn't make fucking sense. I hate that. I fucking hate that. Also, wow, I think they're spawning quite frequently. I honestly really like the design of the elephant. Like, for example, look at the tail. The tail is super similar to the camel's tail. Which is interesting because that's how probably Mojang would design it. Like, if we look at a camel, you can see the camel has the same tail design as the elephant. You can see it even has the same animation. And the giraffe also has the same tail. The tails and tails update. <laughs> look at this. Look at that, it's the same design as, as a camel. It's super suspicious, right? Like, in fact, which mob is a mod? Like, right now, you would not be able to tell which one's a mod. I mean, obviously, yeah, these are mods, but like, if, if I didn't tell you that this was an add-on, you'd probably think this was an update. Because, like, the texture work is genuinely quite well made. Like, it's not super detailed. It's got, like, a pretty realistic animation. And, like... The thing that bothers me is the eyes. Like, why does it have front-facing eyes? That just... Ugh. Like, I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it's just... I don't know. There's something about it. But the texture work on the ears looks really good. It, like, it almost looks as good as the camel. Like, look at the camel, for example. They added, like, the texture to make it look like depth, right? Like, the hips here. And, like, the fur. It actually looks pretty realistic. And, in fact, the camel looks really similar to a giraffe. Honestly, it looks like the head. If you look at the head, it looks super similar with the eyes. Like, look at the camel. The camel's head is so similar, right? With the eyes and the mouth. It's honestly super suspicious how similar they are. I mean, a, a camel, a giraffe is just a camel with a long neck. In fact, even this little bump right here is super similar. Like, you just take the camel model and just change some proportions and then you got a giraffe. Honestly, like, look, at, it actually looks so cool. Like, I'm just kind of impressed by the design. It's like a boring-ass fucking llama. Like, I'm gonna go to, like, the mangrove swarm. Let's see. <gasps> Cabra. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, I don't like that squeaking noise. No, I don't like that noise. Why does it make a squeaking noise? That's bad. I don't like that. Okay, mangrove swamps are the worst place to spawn because they have no space. Also, look at this. This add-on has crabs. And this add-on also has penguins. Right? Look at this. The mobs that we could have had in Minecraft. But no, instead we had the armadillo. Like, look at how cool this would have been in the mangrove swamp. God, like, it's so- and they walk sideways too. I mean, it's not a fiddler crab, but like, still, we should have voted for the crab. Actually, no, the armadillo was better, but like, still. This isn't the right penguin, but still. This is what we could have had. We also could have had ostriches. If we had voted for the right, um... Also, these are the same color. We also could have had... I think there's also termites. Yeah, termites. And there's also... Yeah. Look at this. This looks official. This is what we could have had if we voted for the savannah. And termites. Which actually are quite big insects, which fits with the Minecraft style because every insect is really large. It just... It bothers me, you know, that we never had these things. Like, why don't we have ostriches in Minecraft yet? Like, oh, I just, look at this. Look at how cool this is. I think you can actually write this. I think you could put a... Yeah, you can, you can write the ostrich. That's so funny. Like, obviously Mojang probably wouldn't make the ostrich writable, but still, it's cool. It, it just, it's fun. Oh, I can't control it. Like, it's a fun mob. Oh yeah, it's, you can't really control it. Also, I think when you heard it... It like burrows its, its head into the ground, I think. Or maybe not. Does it not attack termites? Or can you use- wait, can you feed them termites? Or is it not termites? Wait, no. Wait. No, it's not termites. Wait, isn't it termites that was on the Minecraft mob boat? Wait. 
Hold up, let me check the biome board. Was it termites? Wait. Uh. Hold up, hold up. Which one was it? Hold up, wasn't it a, uh... Hold up, was it? Ostrich, wait. <sighs> Is it not? Yeah, it's termite. No. Also, also, one thing that's kind of cool about termites is they actually eat wood. They, like, turn the logs into stripped logs, I think. Or they should. I mean, not every log. I think it's only... It'd be weird if it's only acacia. Oh, yeah, look at that. They, they strip... Why? Okay. Why do they not strip... Do they only use... Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me they only strip oak. Wait, no. Don't... Do they only strip oak logs? Oh, no, they strip birch... Okay, they strip... Okay. What about birch logs? Because, technically speaking, these each have a different data value. Oh, okay, no, no, it does, it does strip the, the trees. Okay, true test, does it strip cherry, mango? Because these are recent, recently new. Okay. Again, like, wouldn't it be cool to make, like, an automatic uh, way of, of, like, removing the bark from trees using termites? I could see how this could be used in a technical way. Like, instead of having to use durability for your axe, you could use termites. Also, why is it not using... Is it really not? Don't tell me I can eat these. Come on, eat, eat the logs. There's wood on there. Come on, please. Please tell me they... If this is not supported for 1.20, that's going to be really disappointing. Okay, no, no. Okay, the mangrove one did. Oh, yes! Okay, that's nice. Okay, that's good. That means that they did think about that. That's pretty cool. Um... Oh my god, also the lines have like a sleeping schedule. Also, okay. This is a baby zero, this is a line. Why are you not attacking this? Like, this is literally prey. And yet, no, they're just chilling. They're literally just chilling. Like, bro, what the fuck, you're an apex predator. Kill this thing. I'm really not gonna hunt this little thing. Like, this defenseless zebra is just not. It's, it's chill. I thought these mobs had cool interactions with each other. And why the hell are you not eating the fucking acacia leaves? They're literally right next to you. Stupid. Like, there's literally... These things are designed to be eaten by, by giraffes. And the giraffes have evolved to have long necks to specifically eat acacia leaves. Oh, it bothers me. It bothers me. It's not... Instead, no, for some reason, the add-on creators decide... Oh, no, apple. In fact, a lot of mobs eat apples in add-on. Okay, <laughs> the elephant spawning in groups looks a little bit weird. Also, look at this, an ostrich spawning in the savanna, which we could have had if we voted for the savanna. Like, why did we not vote for the savanna? Instead, we fucking voted for the for the fucking taiga, which is so boring. Also, look at this, butterflies. Like, why can't this be in the game? They actually function exactly like these, where they pollinate flowers. Which, I mean, still, I mean, I guess it would be, uh, butterflies would essentially be useless because we have bees. Um... I think actually, if we go to the swamp, there's like alligators or crocodiles. Again, I I just think these mobs should be added to the game. And plus, the thing about this add is that each mob has a use. They're not just like cosmetic. Uh, they're not cosmetically added to the game. Each of them do have a like a specific use. Like they either can give you an item or a block. Which like, come on, why isn't that in the game? Like, how hard would it be to add this? Okay, so I think in the swamp there should be. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. Um, do I think there should be, like, alligators here? There's also tortoises, right? Wait, oh, that's a crow. Is it an alligator? Wait. Wait, what is it called? Is it... Is it called... Wait, is it called a... Hold up, hold up. Wait. Um... Oh, there's a lot of mobs here. A sliver. Turn my away. I'm gonna like look there. Wait. Also, look at this. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, no, that's dragonfly. Wait, no, that was a firefly. Yeah, alligator. Look at this. Wait. Fireflies. 
this add-on has fucking fireflies, and yet Mojang couldn't fucking add this to the game. Like, why? Look at this! Bro! This is the thing that we fucking could have had! But no, instead they were scrapped. Like, and these aren't just two pixel mobs, they actually have detail. Like, come on, are you serious? No, instead if you want fireflies, you have to pay eight bucks. Fuck off, man. I mean, to be fair, they're fucking... Actually, they're not useless because they do technically drop glowstone dust, which could be used as a source of glowstone in the, in the open world. They do actually drop glowstone dust. Well, not often, but... Oh, yeah, see, look, that glowstone dust. Like, ah, oh, it annoys me. Like, why does this add-on have mobs that should have been in the game, but they are not? Look at the alligators. Now, these things are never going to be added to the game, main game because they're technically endangered, and also they're aggressive. Like... Okay, wait, how fast does this thing swim? Okay, if this thing swims slowly, then that doesn't make sense. Okay, okay, it swims fast. It swims fast. That's realistic. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, it does, it does swim pretty fast. But on land, it's slow. But in the water, it's fast. Like, the bottle actually looks good. Aye! Stop. Stop! Also, oh, that's a weird noise. It's just, it annoys me. Okay, actually, I'm curious. I'm gonna do that again. DPE at the. Oh, okay. Oh, what is. What are those parts? Oh, what is that noise? Okay, I'm gonna do Clash Kill Owl. Oh, that was a very unpleasant noise. I just wanna see how many mobs spawn on a, on an average. Okay, so like in the mountain biome, for example. What, what mobs spawn here? I do think that birds and things like that should spawn much more. Oh, look at that! There's deers. I've already seen that. I love how they have the derpy eyes. It's so. It's again. That feels like something that would be added to the game because the. Oh, that's a grizzly bear. Yeah, look at this. Look at the. Why don't? Okay, the thing I don't understand. Like, why do we have pandas, polar bears? Like, look. We have polar bears, but we don't have grizzly bears or black bears. It's like it annoys me. Like, look at this guy. He's so cute. Also, wait, I think those sound effects are very similar. And like he attacks you too. Look at that, his eyes turn red. Whoa, that's actually a really cool animation. Okay. I think, is that just me or is that the same sound effects from Surroutcraft? Oh, that is actually scary. Spawn fireflies. Fireflies attack. Oh, yo, what are those particles? Wait, why are they? Whoa, okay, that must be a bug. Those pink. Missing particles are probably a bug. Okay, I'm curious. Do you think a grizzly bear swims fast in the water? In real life, bears can swim in water. Okay, no. That doesn't make sense. In real life, bears would go inside the water to hunt their prey. But instead, it decides to not. Okay. Oh, and then it just lost interest completely. Okay, what about... Does it hunt salmon? Oh, it does. See, uh, look at this. It actually has the salmon in its mouth. That makes sense. And then look, it's gonna eat the salmon. Like, why do mobs... Look at that, that's so cool. That's realistic. Why is it that when a wolf kills a sheep, it doesn't fucking eat the mutton? It just leaves it on the ground like an idiot. God, it's... It annoys me, right? Like, it just... It annoys me. Okay, what's another cool mob? Um... Uh... I, okay, I'm, I'm curious. What happens if I put an orca on the ground? Oh, it actually... Oh, it does have a flapping animation. Oh, whoa, it's got a mouth. That is actually... Oh my god, flamingo. That's actually kind of cool. Does it fly? I think they do fly. That's a really cool animation. Like, I love the way the light... Oh my god. Let's just ignore that in the backup. Like, I love the animation. Look at that. Also, person... Oh my god, that actually is kind of cool. Bro, looking at me. Okay, why are you looking up? One thing I would love to see is what my world would look like with this add-on. Because I honestly, I think this add-on is definitely worth the money. Um. Also, look at this. One thing I love about this is this. This is basically an overworld hoglin. But when you str when you strike this with lightning. Wait, no, fucking oh, come on. When you strike this thing with lightning, guess what happens? It turns into a Zoglin! That makes- that actually makes sense, right? Like, 
I love the fact that this, when struck by lightning, turns into a Zoglin. Like, that actually makes sense. This thing is essentially an open world Hoglin. Like, look at how similar the design is. Like, it's so cool that this turned into a Zoglin. It's such a small feature, but I love it. Also, one thing that really annoys me is the, the frog in this add-on. Also, why are they not? Why isn't there a th third frog light? I think this thing attacks with termites. But the thing that really annoys me is this, right? A regular frog, when it attacks, right, it opens its mouth and uses its tongue. I'm going to show you. In fact, there's a frog right here, right? And we have a frog. Okay, it's going to spawn every single out of that. It's going to open its mouth with its tongue, right? Okay, that makes sense. Now we're going to spawn a termite, and we're going to spawn a tree frog. Why is it not using its tongue? It's a frog. Instead, it, like, just... It doesn't even look like it eats it. It just kind of just... Like, it's it's same as a frog, right? Like, this is just a frog. In fact, it literally has the same animation. But yet, somehow, it, like... Wait, does this one? Wait, what? Is the frog... Okay, I got... Yeah, like, look at this. It just kind of goes up to the termite, and it just, like, hits it. Like, why aren't you using the tongue? That, that's my major criticism. Like, this thing... It, like, opens its tongue. Please... Yeah, look at that. It's gonna eat it. It's gonna eat it. It's gonna use its tongue. Look at this. Right? It opens its mouth. It opens... It uses tongue. Then, why the fuck does this thing not have a tongue? It's... Oh, it doesn't make sense. It annoys me. They have the same animation. In fact, they even have a better animation. They, like, climb on vertical surfaces. Away. Does this thing climb? Oh, look at this one! Wait. Also, this thing doesn't have a swimming animation like frogs. Whenever, whenever a frog is inside of water, they have like a custom animation which shows them swimming, as you can see. But for some reason, this thing doesn't have an animation when they're swimming. Instead, they just use the walking animation. That looks so weird! Like, why aren't you using the frog animation? That just looks so fucking weird. That's just my major criticism. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the review video.